Hello, my name is Eve Smith. I'm the Senior English Language Fellow at the ETRC, which is this lovely area. Um, we will be having, very soon, a book club. So in the U.S., it's very popular for friends to get together, and they all read the same book. And then, afterwards, we have a discussion about some of the themes of the book, and any questions that we might have about the book, or anything that makes us feel excited, or passionate, or angry even. <laughs> so you can talk about anything that you want to talk about. And I have selected several books, not all of them are here, but during the course of this year, we're going to be reading together Walking Through Walls by Philip Smith, which is a very creative and interesting book about a young man whose father goes from being an interior designer, and um, he was very rich and very famous, to becoming a healer. So he could like put his hand on you and heal your body, whatever was wrong with you. And he healed many people in Florida, which is where he's from. Then we will also be talking about the rules of Sebastopol. And this I chose because it takes place in Crimea. And obviously Crimea is in Ukraine. So I think that it will be very interesting. It's a very passionate book about family and love. Then we have The Happiness Project, and um, this one was very popular. As you can see, it was the number one New York Times bestseller. And I figured in February, we may need to revisit our New Year's goals. So after we write our New Year's goals, we can revisit them, and she can help us to challenge ourselves to make um, even more meaningful goals in our life. So that's why we're doing this in February because most of us, after January finishes, most of us are like, ah, the goals, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said that I would do something, but I forgot. So this will help keep us on track. Then we have this book, which is called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And this book is really important because it tells us how we have all the vaccines that we have and how we're able to do gene mapping. So what happened is that this woman gave us her cell and her cells are able to duplicate themselves. And before, before she um, gave us her cells, well, actually we stole her cells, but you find out all the information in the book. I don't want to give too much of it away. It was impossible to keep a live cell on a Petri dish because they always died. And so because of her, we have the vaccines, we have a lot of the medical treatments that we have today. So in my mind, she's a hero, and I think everyone should know about her. And so that's one of the reasons why this book was chosen. And um, it's very nice. Then finally, we have Having Our Say, which is a fascinating account of the two women who are on the front. It's um, Bessie Delaney and Sadie Delaney. And they, when they passed, they were 100, around like 105 and 103. This is when they wrote the book, actually, when they were that age. And it just tells the story of their lives until that point. So you can imagine the things that they saw, history in the United States. And so this, this chronicles everything. They're African American, and so you get a perspective. And they're, they're fairly upper class African American, so you have a very different perspective on what it's like to be African American in the States during, I think it was like the 1800s to the um, 1990s that this takes place. So it's very fascinating. Um, anyway, that's the book club. <laughs> and I hope you can join everyone. That would be cut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, see you at the book club. <laughs>